Hey happy homemakers, welcome back to my channel for another cleaning motivation video. In today's video, I am getting all the things done. I had some unpacking that I wanted to do on this day and so I also wanted to clean out the under stairage storage so that I could get some things that needed to go in the attic out and fit some of the things that I had sitting in my dining room. I really needed to go into storage, but I wanted them to be a little bit more accessible and so that is why I wanted to pull everything out from the under stair storage so some of that stuff could go in there and the rest of the items could go in the attic where they needed or other various places around the home. I also have a lot of mom life moments where I get interrupted by my kids in this video and I end up having to run to the grocery store for some items. There's a little grocery haul in here as well. So I will have everything time stamped in case you want to skip around, but I hope this gives you all the cleaning motivation for your day. Let's go ahead and get started. Things that I know for sure need to go in the attic are going right there. Things that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put in the attic are over here, so I have two piles for the attic. And then over here is stuff that's gonna go back in here, but I want it at the front of the closet instead of the back of the closet. So I'm just reorganizing it so that some of the stuff that I want to go in here towards the back can be all the way in the back. The things that I need to assess more often are gonna be at the front of the closet, so just kind of getting that going. I can take you anywhere. So in case you're new here, I did want to go ahead and introduce myself since I don't do that very often on my channel. My name is Christina, as you probably guessed. I've been married to my husband, Aaron, for 15 years. We have a five-year-old, Lexa, and a three-year-old, Kenzie. We are originally from Louisiana, but we moved to Michigan when we were pregnant with our first for my husband's job. So we've been in Michigan for about six years, and just recently, about two and a half, three months ago, we moved to Texas for a job change, and we are so excited. We're loving it here so far, just trying to get this house in order and kind of get everything together. We are currently renting this house and looking to buy land and build eventually. That's always been our goal, and so we're hoping that we'll find that here and be able to build our forever home. So stay tuned for all the mom life and cleaning motivation, organizational motivation, and just anything homemaking related. I'm trying to incorporate a lot more things in my channel. YouTube doesn't like it when I do anything other than cleaning. So uh, today I do have like a lot of all of it in one video. So I'm going to see if they like that, if they'll show that to people. But uh, do go ahead and consider subscribing if you're new, because I'd love to have you hang around for all the new stuff I have coming. All right, this is coming along pretty good. Um, this stuff all needs to go in the attic. These are all boxes that I still need to go through, so I'm gonna do that um, as soon as I finish kind of organizing stuff. So all of this needs to go in the attic as well. Um, so huge step for the attic. 
It's another huge stack for the attic. These are all boxes I need to go through. And then in here is all boxes I need to go through. So let's hope that I can knock this all out today. Get this area all straightened up. I'm really excited to be done with the last big bulk of unpacking and that everything else is just going to be organizing. I know I didn't show you guys most of the unpacking, but that's just because it was done in little tiny small spurts and I was so overwhelmed that, you know, I just didn't end up doing that. But this is jam packed. I may end up moving all of the Christmas stuff that's in here to the attic eventually, but I wanted to make certain that I had room for all of this in the attic before I do that. And I also left this where um, I have a little bit of space in here so I can kind of put little things if I need to stash and dash, or um, I do have those TV trays that I want to put in here as well. And I want to be able to kind of have a little bit of space so I can move things around to pull things out. So um, I'm happy with this. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. We are all about the good, the good vibes. We are all about the good, the good times. Dance until it feels alright. All night. We're all about the good vibes. All about the good vibes. Will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party. All right, I was trying to move this through here and it won't fit, so I'm gonna have to move stuff. But this is all the stuff stacked neatly that's going in the attic. And then those boxes need to go in the attic as well, so I'm just gonna leave them over here. I was trying to move them over. So this is everything that needs to go in the attic. We're gonna get started on unpacking all this stuff and cleaning up this area. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. We are all about the good, the good vibes. We are all about the good, the good times. Until it feels alright All night We're all about the good vibes All about the good vibes started unpacking these boxes but then I realized they were all moving blankets my husband had repackaged in some of our dishes um, boxes so I just relabeled those as to what they were and put them in a stack to go in the attic look at the chairs I got for this aren't they so pretty i love them and they're easy to clean off because they're like this textured fabric um and so every time my kids get something i just take a little soap and water and wipe it off because this is where i let them eat breakfast if it's i'm intermittent fasting day and i'm not eating they'll eat lunch here too um because we normally eat as a family, but if I'm not eating, I'll be doing, you know, a lot of times during breakfast and lunch, I'll just be doing dishes and stuff and we'll be chatting and so they eat here. You know, this is more true to the color. From the other angle, they kind of look like cream. They're more like super light tan cream. I don't know, <laughs> however you want to call it. But I like the, love the light wood legs. I actually had this in mind. I went to at home store, which I didn't have one near me in Michigan or Louisiana. So I was really excited that I have an at home store near me. And I got these. Um, again, like I said, they are like a canvas kind of texture. You can tell if I go really close to them. And so um, that makes them super easy to wipe off. So doing the light colors, people think I'm crazy to do light colors with kids, but they've gotten tomato sauce on here and ketchup. And as you can see, there's no tomato sauce and ketchup on here. So um, <laughs> they've already tested out the durability of this. So. Um, I do like the fabric that it is very um, easy to clean off and so it's been perfect for us and obviously we only have room for two but two chairs actually fit here perfectly so 100% the look I was going for so I'm super excited to find these slowly but surely we are going to make this place look how we want it to. We found a way to choose right from wrong. We found the strength to go on Okay, so 
so all of this needs to go in the laundry room, but I'm still in the middle of trying to get that set up. So let me show you guys what I have going on here. I have this wire shelf that was in the basement that I used for my candle stuff. And I wanna put that in here, but the last one I put together, cause you see there's no, if you saw my tour, there's no storage in here really except this one shelf. So my plan is to put that shelf up and turn that into laundry storage. And then this shelf up here will just be stuff that I rarely use. Maybe some of my kitchen stuff that I don't use very much, like my KitchenAid and stuff can go up there, but then down here will be all of my cleaning storage if I have that wire rack in here. Now, the thing is, I put together the last wire rack and I had a hard time doing it and I didn't do it 100% correctly. And now my husband's having to take it apart and put it back together. So he asked me to please just let him put the next one together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clear out these empty boxes and straighten this up so I can put the boxes of cleaners in here until he can get around to putting that shelf up for me because that may be in, not until this weekend. Um, so I'm just going to stack everything in here and neatly so it won't be in the walkway so I can go ahead and sweep the floors and clean up in there. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect but i'm gonna miss all that we had yeah i know that we're not perfect but i need this night for the last time this point my girls decided they were hungry again and they asked me to make them some pancakes so I did take a little break and make some pancakes typically I would just shut the camera off so you guys will never know that I even got interrupted but I'm trying to kind of just incorporate some of the real life mom life in these videos so you guys will have to let me know if you like that or if you prefer just the cleaning or you like seeing how I get interrupted with mom life and make a mess while cooking and all the things <laughs> so leave me a thumbs up if you do enjoy that uh, part of things if I should keep making them kind of like this style of video if you guys prefer just the someone's crying I can never do these voiceovers without having to do them like five times in a row and somebody's always crying <laughs> anyway but leave me a comment if you prefer just the cleaning videos without any interruptions but I do think sometimes it's important for us as moms to realize that um, we all get interrupted 65 times a day just like I'm getting interrupted right now from this voiceover <laughs> Oh, y'all like this pancakes? Yeah. I'll be okay. We watch the sun go down over the same. So at this point I remembered that I did need to thaw some chicken for dinner, so I went ahead and did that while my girls were finishing up eating, and I decided to go ahead and tidy the kitchen as well. Sometimes they like to just chat while they eat their breakfast. So if I try to leave the room and go do something else, they'll be like talking to me and calling me back in there. So it's usually a perfect time um, while they're eating their breakfast or their lunch. I think on this day it was kind of like 10 or 11. So I think it was like kind of a brunch situation. So I figured it was a perfect time to go ahead and unload the dishwasher. We like to kind of, like I said, chat and um, while I unload the dishwasher or sometimes I'll just be listening to something on my um, headphones while I do that. But I just decided to go ahead and tidy that before I got back on to everything else because I was remembering that I needed to run to the grocery store as well. So I wanted to get this tightened up tidied up before I came back from the grocery store with more things to put away. Like a twig right under your feet Don't you see 
say that you didn't want me You turned me upside down And then you laid in my bed and under my skin oh, Where will it end if I let it begin? So bittersweet You know life's too short So let's not waste another minute So Kinsey got syrup all over her chair so I figured it was a great time to show you guys how easily these chairs do clean off. I just took my mixture of Dawn dish soap and water. Sometimes I use the off brand uh, but I do find the actual name brand of Dawn which I was using on this day really is a lot more powerful. Um, the other stuff I'll do it in a pinch but Dawn can't be Dawn I feel like. <laughs> So I actually put a little too much soap in my soap and water mixture a little more than I normally do because it was Dawn and I didn't realize how powerful it was. So I ended up having to add more water. So I came back with this little handheld vacuum to try to suck some of that up because I didn't want to get my Dyson wet. It's kind of a cheaper little handheld vacuum and it, it does the trick. I've shared it in a previous video. Here is just an overview of what the chairs look like. Just showing you guys that all the syrup did come out. All right, so after the girls finished eating, I actually needed to grab some groceries, so I ran to Aldi. Um, I I already had um, some stuff that I got at the grocery store last week that I, we didn't eat, that we were gonna eat to get us through half of this week, so I kinda didn't go with a plan like I normally do. I kinda just had a few things I needed, and then the rest of it, I kinda just made it up as I went along, so I spent $100 at Aldi. No sugar, no added, no fig sweeteners, nothing, just a hint of essence of like a fruit flavors. They're great for when I'm fasting, so I'm not wanting any calories, but I don't also don't want any um, fake sugars that are gonna spike my insulin or anything like that. So that's why I drink those, and I've gotten accustomed to where I like them, but if you're new to it, it will probably taste bitter, so any of the citrusy type flavors are gonna be the easiest ones to stomach, at least in my opinion. Um, Aaron wanted some more bananas because he likes to eat those as snacks. The girls actually kind of just started throwing fruits and vegetables in the in the um, buggy, and I was like, whatever, you know. <laughs> Eat healthy, Lexa loves these baby carrots, so she threw those in there. We also love, my girls and I, to eat these as snacks, so Lexa threw that in there. We needed some more of this spray, I've never tried this brand, it's just, you know, Aldi brand, I guess, or whatever brand they sell. This is for my lunch for Wednesday, um, when I'm eating this week. And I got these for snacks for myself for when I'm eating as well, just some sugar snap peas. These are usually pretty pricey and they're pretty affordable, so I just grabbed those. I got these for Aaron for one of his lunches because um, we had some lunch stuff for him, but not enough for the whole week. Like I said, we didn't. <laughs> we kind of had leftover stuff from last week to last us about half the week. I'll probably end up spending a little bit more when I do it this way, but that's what I did this week. So I'm not super common that I do that, but I have been kind of doing that since we moved here. Just kind of everything's not quite back to normal. And Kenzie decided to eat again when we came back. Anyway, um, I did get some pitas for him to put this on instead of tortillas. So I hope he likes that. Um, that's what these are right here. Um, just a whole wheat pita where he can cut those in half and then he just warms that up and fills it in there. So I hope that's good. We've never tried that before. I got this for myself just because it looked yummy and I wanted to eat it. This, I just got to have some food. I've kind of realized we usually don't have any like ready-made or meals like that we can just grab out of the freezer if we're running low one week and my meal didn't last as long as I thought it would or something like that. So I wanna start having like one or two things that I grab every couple of weeks just so like, you know, I can throw this with a jar of pasta and we can have spaghetti and meatballs one night if I'm like, mm, we ate more than I thought yesterday so we didn't have enough leftovers or whatever reason. I wanna have stuff like this like randomly you know but not always like fried chicken nuggets or something like that something a little bit more substantial so these look so delicious this is the only pack left so they must be pretty popular so I'm excited to try these out just got this as a treat I don't know that I've ever tried this flavor we could not get bluebell in uh, Michigan it's a southern thing if you guys know so yeah I'm excited to try that on one of my days when I'm eating so I got these for some more lunch options for Aaron we've never tried them so hopefully they are good we got a Mediterranean style quinoa bowl and a chicken one so I'm gonna put these in the freezer um, also got some strawberries my girls are obsessed with strawberries so I just Got two packs of the strawberries this time instead of just one because they always go through them so fast. And they're pretty good price at Aldi. This is uh, $2.50, I feel like that's a great price. 
Okay, I'm running and putting stuff away because uh, the ice cream and stuff was already melting because it's so hot here. But the vegetable garden crackers, I got these for snacks for my husband and I. I forget what, there was something that I wanted to eat this with. And I can't remember what it was now. I'm sure it'll come to me later, but there was a reason I got these. <laughs> oh, it's this. I got this, this um, goat cheese that has like the cranberry cinnamon. And so I got those to eat together as like a snack. Sometimes we get all the little snackies after the kids go to bed. Alexa had Nutella one time and she loved it. So I got this hazelnut spread for them to try. It's one of the Aldi brands, I guess, Berry Hill. Never tried it, we'll see if it's any good. Also the tea, hopefully this tea doesn't taste any different because we really needed tea. And I didn't have to go to Walmart just to get our certain kind of tea that we normally buy. Kenzie and Lexa, have, neither one of them have liked juice since ever, which is great. I'm fine with that. But um, recently a friend had Capri Suns and Kenzie all of a sudden likes them now. So I just keep these on hand um, just as a special treat for her every now and then. Lexa wanted the cinnamon rolls as a treat. We also got these because they were a great price and I've actually never tried them. They're supposed to taste like cotton candy. The girls said they don't, so. Mm. Oh, okay, I just tried one. Actually, it does taste like cotton candy. It's just a hint. It's a real light hint, but they're great. They're just good. Um, another thing that Lex threw in the buggy, she wanted to eat these. And then Erin had gotten some granola last time we were at um, Aldi and so, he didn't really have anything to eat it in. And I told him, I was like, why don't you just get some Greek yogurt or something? So I grabbed the vanilla flavored Greek yogurt, hoping that'll be good um, to try with the granola that he got. And then I also got this. Now this was $8. I probably am maybe overspending a little because we were already like three months in. <laughs> What's April now? But I really was just thinking yesterday that I really wanted a new planner that literally just had like a today to-do list on it. So. Um, they had like five different kinds at my Aldi. Um, and I just chose this one based on this spread here. So this is like every day. Now there was one that had lined um, every day, which I liked better, but this one had this, which I like. So you can put down a shopping list or like errands that you need to go run for the week, but you're still seeing the day at a glance. And I really liked that. So that's why I bought this one more than the pattern. There were some that had covers that I liked better, but I really liked this spread because I love to do to-do lists for each individual day and mark through it. But I also like to see my week in advance glance. If like I wanna write down stuff I don't wanna forget to do, but I don't know what day of the week it's gonna work to do it on yet. So that's why I got this. Oh, I didn't even know there's stickers in there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Okay, so there's a couple pages of stickers. Um, so maybe that makes it a little bit more worth the $8, even though we're already <laughs> in April. And then there's a pocket folder in the back, which I didn't realize. So I really like that a lot. I wonder if this hole punch is the same as my Happy Planner hole punch. I feel like it might be. I don't know. I'll have to have a look at that and see. But anyway, that is everything for the groceries. I need to get back to cleaning, but I'm going to go put Kenzie down for a nap really quick as soon as she finishes eating the rest of her lunch. And then I will be back to tackle some more of this. I'm going to do the laundry and a couple other things, but we'll see what I do on camera. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I've been really productive today, so I'm super excited with what I've gotten done so far today. And I think for sure after I put her down, I'm going to get this area finished so that it's just done. And then I really need to do laundry, but I'll see if I do that on camera or if I do it tonight after Erin gets home or if I even just do it in the morning. Because let's just be honest, when Erin gets home from work, I'm usually like punching the time clock, clocking out, done, sit down, I don't stand up on those chairs. I am done for the day once he's home usually. <laughs> if you guys didn't know or couldn't tell already that about me, yeah. Why am I? Tell us what another friend of mine says. She's like, why don't you tell my clock out? I'm like, me too. Which, I'm gonna be better about not just like dropping it all on him when he first walks in the door because I mean, who wants to come home to that? But you have those days. Anyway, today has been awesome. What is going on with my nose? Anyway, today has been really great. Um, I've been, I felt so productive today. I love those kind of days, especially on Mondays. So hopefully I can put her down for a nap and be a little bit more productive. And then I'll just take a small break while she's napping and just do something I wanna do, like edit a video or something like that. I really should go work out, but I really wanna have some videos that I need to edit. So I'll probably be doing that instead. Um, we've been going for an hour walk in the afternoon when Erin gets home from work. So that's been really nice. So I might consider that my workout today instead of doing my spin bike, but we shall see. Okay, have a good nap. I love you. Good night. <laughs> You're so cute.
So Kenzie discovered sleeping masks and it's so cute because now she wants to sleep with them every day <laughs> for her nap. Um, I always go back just to make sure it's not down over her nose once she falls asleep. That's what that little clip was about, but it's super cute. So then I moved on into the kitchen. I needed to boil some water to make some sweet tea for dinner just to have that ready to go. And then I wanted to move on to putting away um, my drinks and also prepping the girl's fruit. I found that if I prep their fruit, I'm much more likely to remember to actually give them fruit. They love fruit, they eat it all the time, but sometimes I forget to offer it to them. So the last few months I have been doing that since moving here and it's been working out really good. They've been eating fruits as their snack consistently and I feel like it's so good for them and they love it, so it's perfect. <music> You were the type that eclipsed the room I was the one who arrived too soon But no one would ever bet against us If they saw us exchanging glances I was too busy to fall in love You were too busy to break my heart Nobody else was there to stop us Nobody else is there to want us Now we go on and on with this poor love song We've been working on far too long, baby Do you still remember when our hearts turned up spontaneously? On and on like a marathon We keep running from fighting for something Something to remind us that we're better than this poor love song Too busy watching the TV screen Now we're just betting on broken dreams Nobody's gonna come and save us We cash in too many empty favors As I was rinsing the fruit and then drying it off, I was putting it in another one of these little can, um, acrylic can containers that I have put my cans in in the fridge. But that's not necessarily the best solution because your fruit doesn't last as long. Um, this week it did work pretty good because my girls were going able to go in there and just grab a handful of fruit for themselves. But I knew it wasn't a long-term solution for keeping the fruit fresh longer. So I did end up going to Amazon and getting, I think I showed it in a future video because I ended up getting it like the next week after this some um, containers that have a special tray in them for fruit and vegetables so as the juice kind of comes out of them they're held above the juice i'll put a little screenshot of what that looks like but i'll link that below in case anybody's interested in that we've been using that for a few weeks now and those work really good for us i really feel like it does help the fruit last longer than just putting them in like an open container like this or just putting in them in a tupperware or something After just a few hours of interruption, I was back to finishing up the unpacking, organizing boxes, and getting the floors swept in here. Thank you. 
had friends coming over this weekend to stay with us. We've had people here pretty much every other week since we uh, moved here, like coming to see us and everything. Now that we're so much closer to everybody, we're like seven, eight hours away instead of 16 to 18. So it's been really nice, but everybody has been coming to see us. And so it's been crazy busy, but I wanted to get the house like at least semi put together before my friends came this, this weekend of this video. So I was really happy with what I got done. Even though I did not get to the laundry on this day, I did save it for the next day. I was pretty worn out after this. I still felt pretty productive. I got so much cleaning and organizing done, so many things taken care of that I had kind of been wanting to do as well as all of my regular cleaning and mom life stuff, you know, all mixed and done in the mix. productive day and I felt super happy with what I did get taken care of so if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful or you got some cleaning motivation please don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out and subscribe if you're new here I'd love to have you I do post new videos every single Monday and every now and then there will be a bonus video on Wednesday thanks again for watching I'll catch y'all in the next one bye